Okay, so today we'll begin a new topic that is area of regular polygons. Okay, so it has been totally based uh, on the formula, as you can see here. It is uh, a regular uh, hexagon, and uh, there is one inscribed circle. Inscribed circle means to say circle which has been uh, made inside the polygon. and there is an circumscribed circle circumscribed circle means to say the circle which has been constructed outside of the uh, polygon okay so here you can see and the small r is the radius of the inscribed circle yeah inscribed circle radius of the inscribed circle small r and capital r is the radius of the circumscribed circle as you can see the figure is not uh, complete this this point should be in this this place okay so area of n sided polygon has been uh, can be calculated by the using this formula half into n into a into r n is the number of side a is the a is the yeah a is the length of the each side of the regular polygon and uh, small r is the radius of the inscribed circle which i have i told earlier yeah then just multiply the number of side n radius of the inscribed circle is small r and the number of sides a and divided by 2 then you will get the area of n sided polygon n sided means to say you can find this by using yeah by using uh, n equal to 4 5 or any 6 7 according to your wish you can put the number of sides of that polygon and you can find the area yeah If when R is given, I small capital R means to say the radius of circumscribed circle, then the area of polygon changes as R can be evaluated by using this formula. So then the formula varies, but uh, nothing changes more. Sometimes you need to find the perimeter of a polygon. Then you can do you, you can use this formula. Okay. Moreover. here we have uh, a complete list of formulae that is for regular polygon re regular polygon uh, its perimeter regular hexagon and regular octagon so leaving it come to the exercise that is very first question area of regular polygon whose side radius of inscribed circle is given so look how it is it will be done so this <coughs> So area of regular polygon half into n into a into r. So we have to put the all values n a r x is given already. So simply it's seventy five centimeter square. So the next is well capital R is given, not small r. Means to say the circle radius of the circumscribed circle. Then n a into under bracket r square minus a square upon four. Okay. So we put this. But here 119, as we you have studied earlier, that 119 is not a perfect square. So its square root will not be a complete whole number. So it will be 10.8 approx. As uh, we we know the method of finding the square root. Okay, that is this. So at least one plus decimal we have to find. That is 10.8. So now we put the value of under root 119, and the square root of 4 is 2. So just multiply this, and we got the ninety-four point five is the centimeter uh, area of the regular polygon. You can name the regular polygon because it is uh, number of sides is seven, so it is uh, regular heptagon. Okay. So uh, polygon having seven sides is known as heptagon. I think you have studied it in the previous chapters, previous classes. Okay. That uh, which polygon is known uh, as by which name? According to its number of sides. So, come to the next question. That is question number three. Area of regular hexagon. So, it has a uh, clear formula we studied earlier a moment ago. That is three root three upon two into side square. That is a square. So, I put the values. Area of regular hexagon. Okay, according to the uh, formula. And simply multiply this. Again, we come uh, to find the value of root three, which we don't know exactly. 
then we will use the long division method of finding square roots i think you have studied it in your uh, earlier chapters so by using that i found 1.73 as the value of root 3 so multiplying this we got our answer just like that question number 5 the side of regular octagon is a and it is 5 cm so area of regular octagon will be like this yeah it has a different formula we studied earlier and this is that okay so just uh, keeping that in your mind you can do the rest again we got root 2 we don't know the value of root 2 we would find the value of root 2 by using long division method then you will get 1.41 okay so just like this so i hope you could understand this all and complete the rest problems i left for you and uh, submit it